My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily across the ocean to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Hold the shoes! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to fit. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? What the hell are you waiting for? Take out the guy on the steps. Get out of my way! We gotta pull those back at these men! Get behind the sandbag! Hey, get back to the hole! back! Let's move! On me! Get up here, Scaletta! On this end, Neil! Shit! Corporal! This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Alright! Do it when you take out that MG, then find the prisoner. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Scaletta! Over here! 
Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found a machine gun. Watch it. Get off your ass and let's move it. Grab Whoa. all the ammo you can carry. This Whoa. might be our last chance. Upstairs. Clear the second floor. Ah. Scaletta, you take point. Gli faccio saltare il cervello! Shit! Looks like we're going this way. Come on! Oh shit! How many of these fuckers are there? Who gives a fuck? This keeps choking! What the hell is this look like I'm doing? Oh, 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 Hey, find on me, asshole! It's a chase. You move this butt up. Hey, stick your food country up your ass! I'm not selling it all day! Shit! This balcony isn't gonna work! We gotta keep moving! Get inside! Arrivano altri vaccini! Puttano le voci! See that gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! If these guys get inside, we're fucked! Dai, io a te! di stare attento fregatene di fare attenzione fai ciò che ti è stato detto ho sparato a che diavolo Ma sta dicendo chi si crede di essere 
essere. Un'offerta da fare. Ma è davvero Don Calò? Quella è finita. Un congè quando si ammaretà come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ce ne andiamo. Sapete che potete fidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. <laughs>